impossible question, but there is an answer. It turns out to be the good old Ford Escort. It was voted Car of the Year in 1981. Since then, it's been top of the ratings in four successive years, and they've sold over four million Escorts by the end of last year. Now, much of the Escort's success, of course, has got to do with its jack-of-all-trades image, from the cheap and cheerful and economical family runabout, up to the popular and more pushy numbers, like the XR3Is and the Cabriolets. Now, with the new model launched in February of this year, it's still very much an Escort, but with a hint of the softer lines of the Sierra, particularly at the front end and round the wings and so on. It gives it a marginally better aerodynamic performance. But otherwise, they've clung, really, to a winning formula. Inside, they've smartened up the entire range in several ways. They've given the cars, for example, this neat, functional Granada-style fascia with an altogether higher standard of trim. One or two useful goodies like uh, anti-theft door locks and multi-speaker stereos and so on. In terms of performance, this is the new 1.4-litre engine car. It has all of the sparkling quality you expect with the name Escort. You can really rattle up through this five-speed gearbox. And on a test track, we're up to 100 miles an hour in no time at all. But let's face it, the Escort wouldn't have hung on to its uh, customers in the way it has if it didn't give real value for money in terms of economy and reliability and low maintenance costs, what they call these days the overall costs of ownership. And they've made further inroads into those costs with a new series of engines. Ford have come up with six really efficient lean burn engines for the new Escorts and incidentally for the new Orions as well. Five of them are modified engines, one of them is brand new. And lean burn involves a complete and detailed redesign of the cylinder head. This includes a special baffle or mask close to the inlet port, which causes the air fuel mixture to swirl and mix far more rapidly as it's sucked into the cylinder on the induction stroke. This means that when the spark goes off, the flame front burns through the fuel far more efficiently, so basically you get more power for less fuel used. These engines now run on air fuel ratios of between 18 and 20 to 1 instead of the more conventional 14 or 15 to 1. So we all get more miles to the gallon. The 1.3 and 1.4 litre engines, for example, give around 40 miles to the gallon at a steady 75 miles an hour, so a very good performance. That's what I did say, a 1.4 litre engine. The old standard, the 1.5 litre engine, has gone from the range to be replaced by this brand new engine at 1.4 litres, apparently because it gives much bigger tax advantages throughout Europe. Now, the other big deal about the new Escort is an optional extra. It's a cracking new anti-lock braking system designed by Lucas Gerling specifically for front-wheel drive cars. And there's no doubt it adds a whole new dimension of safety to this kind of vehicle. That's not saying, of course, that the Escort or any other car fitted with a standard braking system is in any way unsafe. All it does mean is that when the, when the chips are really down, when the car in front of you, for example, on the motorway suddenly breaks to a halt, and you jam on the anchors and lock that right knee solid on the brake pedal, we all do that, it's the classic reaction, if you like. When that happens, you have a much better chance of retaining control of the vehicle and steering around the obstacle if you've got an anti-lock braking system. So here we are in a standard car, a normal braking system, and we're running about 55 miles an hour. It's a dual carriageway, rainy day, roads a bit wet, and suddenly Charles sits out in front of you, stop the brakes. You haven't got a chance, you suddenly become an uncontrolled missile. Well, here we are in the new Escort with the new ABS system, same piece of dual carriageway, Conditions are rather worse with this uh, hailstorm, so the road's very wet. 55 miles an hour, child sets out in front of you, brake hard. You can steer around the child. No problem at all because of the ABS system. So again, the standard car, a normal braking system, motoring along about 55, 60 miles an hour on a dual carriageway. Coming up to a bend, looks okay, you go into it. Suddenly you realize it's a blind bend. At the apex, you apply the brakes. And... <laughs> Right across the other side of the road, anything coming the other way, you're a dead duck. Well, here we are again in the new Escort with a new ABS system. Dual carriageway again, 55 miles an hour. Coming up to a, a bend which looks fairly ordinary. And as you go into it, you see it tightens up. You can't see around it. You apply the brakes. But you're able, even with the brakes fully on, to steer around the bend. The car maintains its line. You don't drift across the road. So here we are in the standard Escort again, normal braking system, cruising along the motorway, fast lane, 70 miles an hour. Good visibility, but uh, a little bit of rain about. And suddenly the car in front of us applies its brakes, stops suddenly, we apply the brakes, try to steer. No chance, we snap into the 
back of the car in front of us. Right, back in the new Escort with the new ABS system, cruising along the motorway, fast lane, 70 miles an hour. Suddenly the car in front of you slams on its anchors, stops almost dead. You slam on your own anchors, but you retain control. You can steer around the obstacle. There's no, no crunch of heavy metal. Well, there it is, a very impressive system indeed. And at 315 pounds as an option extra, costs less than having a factory fitted sunroof. But think how much happier you'd feel knowing your family was driving around with this extra degree of safety. OK, here are the details of this particular car. Engine size is 1392cc. The fuel consumption ranges from 34.9 miles to the gallon in the urban cycle up to 57.4 miles to the gallon at a steady 56 miles an hour. 0 to 60 is 11.3 seconds. Maximum speed they give us 104 miles an hour. The insurance grouping is four. Price, 7553 pounds. But however well priced a package the Escort is, it's bound to come under very severe competition from Japanese cars. And many people in the industry 